Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome music lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I'm going to provide you with evidence. Irrefutable proof that there is no such thing as a wrong note. No such thing as right or wrong in music. No such thing as a mistake when it comes to music. Everything goes, everything is playable, everything is composable, as long as you can hear it. Okay, and I promise you that by the end of this video, you're gonna be 100% convinced. So let's start off with the most ironic example. Okay, you all know this chord. Okay, it's the E sharp nine chord. Okay, the funky chord. Okay, now the E sharp nine chord, okay, eight, seven, six, seven on strings two to five, is a really powerful chord. Now, what's going on here? Think about it for a second. This chord encapsulates the perfect merger between a major scale and a minor scale. Why? Because this chord has both the minor and major thirds. Okay? And this is what makes it so powerful. It's E7, okay, the C7 shape up on E, with the third of the E minor chord added to it, creating the sharp nine. Now, if you only take the bottom two notes, you have E major, okay? It's major, it's a major third. If you take the E bass note with this, the sharp nine, you suddenly get E minor, it's E minor. That's all it is. If you play E7, okay, just these three notes, okay, the bottom three notes, without the sharp nine, you get E7. If you play strings two, three, and five, you get E minor seven. So it's E7 and E minor seven being played together. It's both major and minor, okay? So here you have it, okay? It's something that theoretically shouldn't exist, and yet it does, because there's no such thing as a sound that you can't create. There's no such thing as, as combinations that you can do. Now, there's, um, there's the uh, matter of chromaticism, okay? Chromaticism... Um, proves that if you're using chromatics correctly, there's nothing that you can't play. For example, you have the um, the A minor blues pentatonic. Okay? If you add the blue note, okay, you have this. So it's... If you add the scale notes that are missing, you get this. Okay, minor. Okay, the blue note. Okay, the minor note, okay, here. Okay, now all the rest of the notes are notes um, that create modes, okay? You have the A major note missing, okay? Okay, okay, which creates the major sound. Okay, but listen to what just happened. Okay, I added the major note and suddenly we had a chromaticism here. Okay, so if we play the minor scale, the major note, and continue into the, uh, the minor key, we have a full chromaticism. Okay, now you're not playing everything at the same time, obviously, consecutively but you can play this. Okay? This is a full sophisticated blues line. It included all the notes in that five note chromaticism. Now the same can happen here. 
okay? Because if you have the pentatonic eight and five notes on the second string, and you add the note from the minor scale, you already have a chromaticism because you have the blue note behind it as well. Okay, it's the same, it's the same note. So, so you have a chromaticism. So again, okay, you can, you can play it and you can choose the right note at the right time Okay, and there's no such thing as a wrong note, so any sequence can be played. Okay, you can play this. Okay, you can play that chromaticism. Okay, in and of itself, as long as you're rhythmically in the groove. Now, okay, the same goes for the first um, for the first string. Okay. If you add a little bit of jazz into it, you can go chromatically into the scale note. Okay? You can... So you play all four notes. Okay? But by playing eight, five, six, seven, okay, instead of playing uh, eight to five and then back to eight, okay, even though you can do it in the moment, Okay, you can put it in your line. You can create a long chromaticism as long as you're in the groove. Okay, but my point is that you can play all the notes here. And then you do the same thing on the second string. Okay, this note is not in the scale. Okay, so. And then you can play the major third. Okay, so let me try to demonstrate. Now, remember, all the notes, okay? All 12 notes are here. Okay? Now, there is one missing. This one, okay? The note on four on the first string. But let's okay, give you a proper example, okay? See, I played everything. Okay? Now, all the notes, I played everything except for this. Okay? Now, you can edit and it will create an outside sound because it's the major seven. Okay? It will create the jazzy outside sound and this will lead us uh, into the next subject that I want to talk about. Okay? So... You see? I added this. So, you see? Okay, I took the scale a little bit outside, okay, sideways, and I went back. So, um, you heard all the notes, really, all the notes, all 12 notes. Okay? And it made absolute sense, musically, over an A minor or an A7 chord, or actually any other chord that you want, okay? As long as you're confident in your playing, you can mix and match. It, it was major scale notes, it, it had minor scale notes, okay? it had chromaticism, it had the blue note, okay? it had everything. As long as you have the groove and you create lines using the tools at your disposal, you can play anything. So this leads into uh, another um, example, which is a little bit advanced, but I'm going to try to make sense out of it. In jazz, you have a scale that has all the notes that are not in the natural scale. You have all the outside notes in one scale. It's called the altered scale. It has the flat five, the sharp five, okay, the diminished note, the augmented note. It has the flat nine, the sharp nine. It has the sharp 11, the Lydian note. It has all the notes 
that are not supposed to be there. Um, so it gives you really interesting chords like the okay, the augmented sound, okay, and it can be played with immense success over dominant seven chords, okay, seven chords, okay, A7, okay, you can play an altered scale, you, you can create really interesting colors using that scale. Um, now, the logic behind it is that you can add all those notes to the seventh chord, okay? If we have uh, E7, you can add the sharp nine. It's not in the scale. You can add the flat nine, okay? Listen to this. Okay? This leads beautifully into A minor. Okay, so... Okay? Now... E sharp nine can lead you into a flat 13, which is an A augmented chord. Okay, so these are all outside sounds. These notes are contained um, inside the altered scale. That's why they're called altered chords in jazz. Okay, you, you call this A7 altered. Okay, and I can give you more examples, but I don't want to overburden you with the theory. Just know that in jazz, you have a scale that contains all the wrong notes. All the wrong notes. All the notes that you shouldn't play. What, what does that tell you? It tells you that they're not wrong notes. They're absolutely correct notes. They're very colorful notes. They're the notes that actually give you the whole jazzy sound, the whole jazzy experience, exactly because they're outside the scale, exactly because they're not supposed to be there theoretically. So you can play whatever you want, whenever you want, over anything you want. You can superimpose chords, okay? You can, okay, you can play A flat over A, and you'll get a really nice sound. You can move things sideways, Okay. Okay. Chromatically, you can. Yeah, you can go outside and play notes that are not exactly in the scale. Okay. And take your scale sideways, one fret back, one fret forward, and then come back to the natural scale, and you get that outsidey sound. You don't have to work very hard on the guitar. Um, you don't even have to know the notes that you're playing because you have the shapes, you have the frets. Everything is very symmetrical on the guitar. Just move it around. Um, so experiment with this. There's no such thing as a mistake. There's no such thing as a wrong note. There's no such thing as right or wrong in music. Period. Absolute proof. Absolute evidence. Irrefutable. Okay? Prove me wrong. You can't. Enjoy this. Be creative and find um, serendipitous mistakes. That's, that's what I wish for you. I wish for you to find beautiful mistakes and, and creating really interesting sounds that we've never heard before. That's how you do it. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.